Hi there. Um, so in an uh, email discussion earlier, um, I saw some people talking about making um, gift cards for your games or just like making little cards that you can sell with a, with a code on them. Uh, and I took the time to actually look into how to do that today and I figured I'd make a little video showing how to do that for other people to set this up. So to start out with, you're going to need a, uh, a bunch of codes. These are just random strings I generated and they need to go in a text file or something. Um, since it's only like it could be a tab delimited file or a comma separated values thing, but it's only going to be one uh, column of data, so it doesn't really matter. And you can you just type in the, the name you want for the field at the first row, and then it's just keys, keys, keys all the way down. And then you bring up InDesign, which is the tricky part of this. You need to have InDesign. Uh, you can get a trial version or something, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have it because I have the Creative Suite for, for other reasons. And in design you have a document and you make it text field. And this text field can have any font you want and it can be, you can do all kinds of funky stuff with this if you want to. And in InDesign there's a panel here somewhere under utilities I think called data merge. Whoops. And with the data merge, let me bring it up here. You do this, so the first thing you do is you select the data source from the panel menu, which is this guy right here. You select the data source. I happen to have mine on my desktop called random. Uh, and it parses pretty quickly, and then you get a thing here called key. And now I clicked it mistakenly. So what you do, once you have that, is you go into your text field and you delete whatever placeholder text you have there and you just click that and it will say like bracket bracket key bracket bracket and that will magically turn into all the values you have in your I mean your text file you can click preview here and it will show you the code I actually made codes that are too long to fit in the text field so I make, make a little bit smaller uh, and you can jump around to see all the codes pretty cool and then obviously you'd put like a bunch of graphics and stuff in here behind this and then you go here and you use the option called create merge document. And this is where you actually generate like a new document that will have all the code you have uh, from, your, from your data file. And you, there's a ton of options here you can explore. I'm just gonna do the default. Okay, and it will load for a little bit. Strangely, it will just lag out your entire computer when it's doing this. Um, and now you have a new document, and if you look at pages, you can see that there's a whole bunch of, bunch of pages here, 100 pages. And what I'm going to do is that I am going to, uh, I think it's under export, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do a PDF, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'll call this codes, save it, just whatever. Then I open up this file using, um, where'd you go, here. So what I want to do is I want to upload these to moo.com. And get them printed. So you, you go to moo.com and you go, I, the template I used was for the, for the square business cards. And you go to upload a complete design. And it tells you a bunch of stuff. There are templates, like right here. Oops, couldn't do that. So right here are a bunch of templates you can use, but I've done that already. So you upload one side of the card. It's gonna be the same for everyone. So that's gonna be my front. And this is just something I prepared earlier processing it's like yay that's neat oops I think I, I misclicked <laughs> yes yes I did let's go back hopefully it didn't break and then other side this is where the codes go uh, and now this needs like the thing I just made was a multi-page PDF like this has 100 pages in it with all the different codes Moo wants separate PDFs for each card 
So what you need to do is you need to bring up the toolbar thing. Where'd you go? Is it here? No, it's not. Here, tools, yes. And you go to extract and you click extract pages as separate files. And you, I have a hundred codes. So I wanna do page one to 100 and it will complain because you cannot delete all pages. So you have to do from page two to 100, which is really annoying. And then I'll make a new folder here called, where'd that go? Okay, I want it on my desktop, please. And I just name that one, two, three or something. And it goes boom. And now I have 99 codes in this folder. So it goes from codes two to codes 100. And this PDF I originally opened, now suddenly it just has one page. So I can go save as, and I go into the one, two, three folder. And I name this codes one. Now I go to Moodle.com, I go upload designs, and I go into my one, two, three folder. I'm, I'm not gonna do all of them now, but I'm gonna do 10 first ones. For some reason they end up pretty big. I'm not quite sure why. I think it embeds like a preview or something. Either way, you open those and it will upload all the, the unique back faces you made to Moo. And that's the entire process. Then you just order these. And you gotta make sure, cause Moo does it in batches of 50, I think. Um, and if you wanna order 100, you'll have to do two batches of 50 with the unique backs on, I think. I haven't actually ordered yet. Uh, but it's nice and practical. And if your printer is, like your, your local print shop is run by silly people, you might have to do this as well, just to to get the stuff you need. Either way, that's the way you actually generate the PDFs, which felt like that was a useful thing to share.